All right, I think it's uh, time to log in and check the old Bitcoin price. Let's just surf on over to BitcoinAverage.com and see what's going on. Oh, holy shit. What? $385? Oh, God, my Bitcoins. My Bitcoins. It's crashed down to $385. Oh, oh okay. It's, it's just... It's just script blocking. Uh, when BitcoinAverage.com, when you block the scripts, it just shows a 385. So I'll just, uh, I'll just allow the scripts and uh, everything will be okay. Son of a... Welcome to Dark News. Dark News. Dark News. Oh, shit. They'll never know what it means to have a private moment to themselves. BBC posted their first article about Silk Road and Tor. Oh, I don't have to go to the street corner and get shot? Oh. I think Bitcoin means a thousand Silk Roads. This is a show about cryptocurrencies. Anonymity. And uncensorship. Welcome to Dark News number 28. Today is September 30th. 2014. I'm your host, Christoph Atlas, and uh, we're going to talk about the latest dark news prices for today, answer a question of the week, and look at the consequences of airdrops. The show is entirely listener-powered, so if you're enjoying the show, feel free to send some tips. You can find those on the QR codes on the screen right now. And just in case you had to pawn off all of your mobile devices that have cameras equipped on them in order to uh, cover your Bitcoin losses this week, you can also find the tip addresses in the show notes below as well. This episode of Dark News is fake brought to you by draglet.com. Open your own bleeding edge white label crypto exchange within days. When anyone can open their own crypto exchange, what could possibly go wrong? So let's start off by taking a look at the dark market prices for this week. Just about all of the different uh, prices that we track on the show are down in the last week. Cryptocurrencies and precious metals combined dropped about 1.4% dropping from 6.96 trillion to 6.86 this week. Cryptocurrencies altogether are down about 10%, now sitting at $5.71 billion in market cap total. Silver down about 4% this week and gold down 1%. Bitcoin down an additional 10% or 11% this week after a down week last week as well. Darkcoin down 16%, still sitting at number eight. Monero down 15%, sitting at number 14. Bitcoin Dark number 12, down 20%. X Currency 13%. Bitcoin 10%. Cloakcoin about 18%. And Anoncoin is the lone cryptocurrency that had a positive week this week, now up to number 35 and up about 17% overall. No changes for Fedora coin and 22 LR rounds are on sale this week. Now only five cents per round. If we take a look at some of the top altcoins, most of, as we said before, most of the coins are down in this past week. The two lone exceptions in the top cryptocurrencies seem to be Dogecoin racing forward and overtaking next in the last week. Don't call it a comeback. Just going to show that you can teach an old Doge new tricks. This is likely still on news of Dogecoin merge mining with Litecoin and also some successes in the Doge party area. And also BitShares PTS was up this week as well. Question of the week comes to us from Crypto Joe. Crypto Joe asks, are all crypto note currencies flawed? Well, I would, as far as I know, all of the crypto note currencies are based on the same crypto note code base. There have been some criticisms of that code base. Keep in mind that crypto note basically reinvented the wheel when it comes to uh, copying Bitcoin. They didn't simply take the Bitcoin repository and forked it. They kind of redid everything, rewrote the code from the ground up. And so since it is not as mature, as old, as well funded in terms of development as Bitcoin, you would expect to see some significant deficiencies in terms of the engineering that's gone into the crypto the crypto note code base so keep that in mind uh, some uh, bitcoin developers have even said that they would prefer to see the ring signature technology that helps out with privacy 
adapted onto the Bitcoin code base and uh, see that be the future of a cryptocurrency like Monero. As for the alleged exploits that exist in cryptocurrencies like Monero, I think it's uh, we've yet to see whether it applies to 100% of the crypto note currencies or it may be coin specific. We'll just have to kind of wait and see. In general, I think that there's um, a lot of potential for crypto note currencies in the future. And if they need to have some, uh, some rough edges ironed out in the coming years, I think that's perfectly fine and uh, reasonable to expect. So one of the cryptocurrencies that came onto my radar as I was tra tracking the top market cap cryptocurrencies was Lotto Shares. Let's take a look at Lotto Shares real quick. So if you look at the Bitcoin Talk announcement page for Lotto Shares, it seems to be uh, some kind of gambling kind of uh, game and they call it a, a distributed autonomous corporation and you can, I guess, kind of use Lotto Shares as a kind of app coin for gambling in the, the Lotto Shares gambling game. Now, what happened with Lotto Shares, the way that they distributed to it, as you can see on this page, is that 80 Lotto Shares were airdropped to all people who owned Doge. And if you look at how, what that makes the graph look like for Lotto Shares, you see it starting out beginning of August, somewhere around $2 million shooting up to a dramatic uh, $8 million in market cap, which you, we can assume was uh, correlated with the airdrop in late August. And now it's sunk down to a fairly piddling a few hundred thousand dollars in total market cap. Another airdropped cryptocurrency that was really in the news earlier in the year was Aurora Coin. If you remember, Aurora Coin was uh, the cryptocurrency that's supposed to be kind of the official cryptocurrency of Iceland. There's even some legislation that uh, may have allowed just Aurora coin and ban banned the remaining uh, cryptocurrencies in uh, Iceland for a period of time. So again, with this airdrop, we have Aurora coin starting out near zero, shooting up to nearly $1 billion in market cap and then over just a, a very short period of time, sinking down to a very, very low level of total market cap. And I think that we would, if we looked at some more airdrops coins, we would see similar results. And so I think this is one of the, the inherent patterns of airdrops coins. You're gonna see this huge uh, market, uh, market cap spike as the supply jumps up and then people will uh, quickly sell them off because there's not much inherent value backing these coins. They're not hugely competitive with Bitcoin. It's just that you give them out for free to a bunch of people. They sell them off for dollars or for Bitcoins or whatever it is that they really want to hold on to. And uh, the coin kind of the value kind of collapses underneath it. So that will do it for dark news for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll throw the QR codes for tips up again at the end of the show if you're interested. And until next time, have a very dark week.